Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Andy Sterkowitz. I'm a self-taught software developer. And in this video, what I wanted to give you is my best advice, my most honest advice about those of you who are trying to become a self-taught software developer. So maybe you are mulling over this idea of to teach yourself and forego school. Maybe you've been doing it for a few weeks and for a few months and you're still in that stage of doubt. Like, is this really possible? What, what's the best advice here? So I wanted to cover that based on my experience and my experience of helping other people do that. So we'll cover that in this video. Now, uh, if you're new here and you're wondering who I am, like I said, I'm Andy Sterkowitz. I taught myself to code back in 2014. I landed my first job in 2015 and I also have been mentoring and coaching people uh, to do the same thing that I did, which is like to learn to code, to understand how to land that first job so you're in this new career. So if you're interested in videos like that, I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icons to get notifications anytime I put out a new video. Okay, so let's get into my honest advice. So the first thing for those of you who are mulling it over, you have to understand that your expectations are everything everything with this, okay? So there's a lot of you who are coming from a non-technical background. You have never worked in a technical field. You have, you're not that great with computers and you think that you're going to get into programming because you're gonna read a few books, you're gonna watch a few tutorials, you'll be ready in a few weeks or maybe a few months. If you're coming from this background, you have to have the, you have to play the long game, right? Like you have to play much, much longer than a few weeks or a few months. You have to understand that this process is gonna be at times uh, pretty challenging to say the least. Even if you are coming from a technical background, there's still going to be challenge. But the point is that I've just seen so many people come into this with very inappropriate expectations about thinking they're gonna do this in a very short period of time, they're just gonna read a few books. It, this requires for a lot of you a shift in thinking. This isn't about learning something. This isn't about learning a bunch of facts or figures or rules. It's about learning how to think differently for many of you. And that requires a long period of time. It requires obviously consistency and dedication over a period of time. So just understand that expectations are really important. Another honest piece of advice here for those of you who are going to get into this. A lot of you now are probably spending a good chunk of your free time, time that you normally would dedicate to like social activities, times with your friends and family. You're dedicating that to being alone and working through a workbook of some sort, a learning resource of some sort, watching a tutorial. And so you're, you're sacrificing a lot of your time. You're grinding away. You're hustling, right? Which is awesome. I'm all for that. But the one problem that you'll see pop up quite often is that people think because they are working hard, they're sacrificing time, that they are somehow owed something. That just because you've racked up hundreds of hours of study time, that that should mean you deserve a job at the end of your, you know, however long you're going to be studying for. The truth of the matter is the world doesn't care about how much you study. It doesn't care about how hard you worked. It doesn't care how many times you cried in the middle of the night because you were trying to learn something and you were so frustrated. The world, the market, whatever you want to call it, it cares about results. In other words, when you start going out there and applying in however many months or however many years, the companies are going to look and say, can you do the job that we're asking for? They're not going to say, hey, did you work a thousand hours or 5,000 hours? Did you study for this many hours? Oh, you did? Awesome. Here's a job. It doesn't work like that. They're expecting to have somebody who can come in and provide them value. They're gonna be able to hand you something, fix this bug, build this part of our application, build this feature, and they expect you to be able to do that. So if you think you're gonna go out there and just work really, really hard and you somehow deserve something, this is gonna make the process a lot harder. At the end of the day, you, you really deserve nothing, but you can definitely work as hard as you can to try to be the best programmer you can, and that's all you're really entitled to. And the last thing I'd say here as far as advice is, is always remember that the goal here is to raise the possibility or the probability that you're gonna get hired by a company out there. That's all you're trying to do. I hear so many people get lost in what's the best thing to learn in JavaScript, what's the best programming language. At the end of the day, what you should be focusing on is proving to people, proving to companies that you can do the work as a programmer, or at least that you have the potential to do it. Because sometimes companies will see that you have potential, they see you're not quite there yet, and they'll take a risk. It's not every company. In fact, it's not a ton of them, but if you just can get lucky enough to find it. And at the end of the day too, it's always good to recognize that luck plays a role in this. You could go to the best school, you could go to the best boot camp, you could work with the best mentor, but at the end of the day, there is a, a lot of luck involved in this. And that's okay. You should work really hard. You should work on your skills so that you're in the best position to get hired. And then hopefully you meet, get that opportunity where you can show someone, showcase your skills, and then you get hired. Like I was saying before, like you don't deserve anything and like luck does play a role in this. So if you understand those things going into it, 
you're much more likely to handle those challenges more easily when you come. If you think that there's not gonna be any obstacles, that it's gonna be a breeze, it's gonna take a short period of time, and that you're owed something, that's where people really get frustrated, they beat their head against the wall, and they curse this whole process, like this is never gonna happen, I hate this. So if you are seriously thinking about it, if you're gonna be sacrificing time over the next few weeks or months, then you should know that going into it. So I hope this video is helpful for you. some of you guys out there who maybe have some improper expectations to kind of reel them back in and to focus on the craft and focus on getting your skills better. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and you can also comment below. Other than that, that's all I have for today. So thank you so much for watching and peace out guys.